Speaker, I now recognize my friend and classmate uh, and the gentleman who uh, introduced this bill, uh, Representative Lloyd Smucker of Pennsylvania. Thank you, and I'd like to thank you for John, your John, marvelous... For how much time, please? How much time? Three minutes. Gentleman is recognized for three minutes. Thank you, and thank you for your tireless work on behalf of our veterans to improve their lives and the lives of their families. I rise today in support of my bipartisan legislation to relieve veterans of financial burdens caused by delays at the Department of Veterans Affairs. Over the past decade, federal oversight of the VA has uncovered cases where the VA delivered delayed or inaccurate bills to our nation's veterans, causing financial stress and debt for military families, some bills going back as far as five years. In fact, last August, the VA Inspector General published a report that said the VA issued 1.7 million improper bills to veterans in 2015. What exactly does that mean? It means that the VA collected nearly 14 million from improper bills sent to veterans for their service-related care. That's simple. Our service men and women should not have to pay for errors or delays caused by the VA. Many veterans live on fixed incomes and may not have the resources to cover unexpected costs caused by mistakes of Washington bureaucrats. That's why I introduced the VA Billing Accountability Act with my colleagues from Minnesota, Mr. Emmer and Mr. Peterson. My district is home to more than 38,000 veterans. Each one of them and all those across the country deserve the highest quality medical care and assurances that they will be billed in a timely and appropriate manner. This bipartisan legislation gives the VA the authority to waive a veteran's copayment if the veteran received a bill more than 180 days after they received their care at the VA or 18 months after they received care at a non-VA facility. This bill is supported by AMVETS, Disabled American Veterans, Paralyzed Veterans of America, the American Legion, Veterans of Foreign Affairs, and the Association of the United States Navy. Our nation's veterans, Mr. Speaker, and their families have sacrificed much in defense of our nation. We should be doing all that we can to make their transition to civilian life as easy as possible, and that starts with making sure the VA not only delivers high-quality care, but also issues timely bills to our veterans and their families that they can count on. Ultimately, this bill will help bring more stability and financial security to their post-military lives. I'm proud to have introduced this legislation on behalf of the veter veterans and military families that I represent, and I look forward to continuing to work with my colleagues on both sides of the aisle to get it signed into law. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I yield back.